Right, let's try this again. Are we all working? It looks like it. Good, I think we're okay. Right, I can put my bloody headset on there. Ah, Twitch. Why do you break, sir? I've only had two days off, and you had a breach. Why? Is it because I left? Should I not have a day off anymore? Is this what happens? Oh no. Right. Castlevania, Aria Sora. That's a game. Let's play it. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Right then. That is that's definitely Castlevania. Just checking on my streams, make sure it actually works. Yes, 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 very good. Intro. Start the game. Select data. Ooh. That one, please. Uh, new game. Yes. Seems like it might be a good idea. Let's see. Uh, I think I should type in that. Oh, please tell me sound alerts are working. Oh no. I got nothing. One second. Oh, I've, I've had so much trouble this morning. So, so much trouble. Alert box. Alert box is there. One second. Oh no, everything's wrong. Sound alerts is on. That's when that puts. Yes. <laughs> you might need to be saying to the Empire can go this to work last night. Yes, I've uh, just up changed a load of stuff. Oh fuck it. At least you can hear me. That's that's something. It's there. I know you're there. Why are you not there? It's there. Sound alerts. Alert box. There. Good. Oh my word. Has it all gone wrong with the keys resetting? Yes, everything has gone wrong. <laughs> I've had to change everything. Uh, I've got that working, but now my uh, sound alerts aren't working. We may have to still roll with it. <laughs> so that puts, that's working, that's working. See, it's, it's there. It's there. It's just got, got off my mixer for some reason. Why? Oh no, I ain't got time to fart around with this. Oh, screw it. <laughs> Sounds good. But yeah, it can hear me at least. I, I don't understand why that's gone. It's there. Why is it not on the drop down menu? Forget it. Forget it. Can you hear game? This game fine. Right. Uh, so, canonically, your character's name is uh, Summer Cruz. Uh, today, he's called Kevin. Because, yes. Okay. Yeah, it was 2035, Japan. Crowds of spectators are gathering around in anticipation of the first full solar eclipse of the 21st century. Mm -hmm. My name is Soma Cruz, and I am a high school exchange student studying abroad in Japan. I live here at the Hakuruka Shrine, an ancient shrine with strong ties to Japanese mythology. Yeah, it's not working, is it? <sighs> That's a job for future me. Mina Hakuba, the only daughter of the shrine's caretaker, is both my classmate and my childhood friend. I started making my way to the shrine to see the solar eclipse with Mina, but for some reason... The stairway leading up to the shrine felt longer than usual. This was so trying to keep the When I finally managed to get through the shrine gate and my senses began to dim, the pitch black sun is holding chaotic darkness together, trying to ruse a sleeping soul as if looking for its missing upper half. Stealth newt. It's very, very quiet newt. I think I know what to do. I, I need to go and switch and change all of the settings. Again. We should be cutting off the stream, and I ain't doing that again. <laughs> so, no. We should just roll. We should just have a normal playthrough. <laughs> With no sound alerts. Oh, uh, hmm. Soma Cruz, I thought I changed my name to Kevin. Hey, looks like he's coming too. Where am I? Whoa, what happened? So you decided to join us. Did you have a pleasant nap? No. Huh? Who the heck are you? Fits if the next stream will be re... Good, I hope so. <laughs> it's okay, Soma. His name is Genya Arikado. Skip the introductions, I have a few questions, and I need answers now. Noop, noop. There we go, how about that? Go on, go ahead. I should just try and reenact them the best I can, how's that? Why have you come here? Why? Well, Mina and I, hang on, where are we? We're in Dracula's castle. Mm hmm, Dracula's castle? Are you telling me we are in Europe? No, we are inside the solar eclipse. Good. Inside the eclipse? Are you insane? Do you think I'm a fool? 
So I'm going to listen to him. He's telling you the truth. <laughs> Excellent. What the heck are you talking about? Give me an explanation. Well, it's like this. Excellent! <laughs> anyway. uh, an enemy? That's more than one enemy. How the hell do you miss all that? <laughs> Damn! Protect the girl. Yeah! Go back to where you came from. Um, we've got Winged Skeleton. Who can throw spears? Fantastic. Excellent. Well, I'll tell you what might cheer you up. Not only do I have the uh, cartridge for this game here, with its delightful uh, Castlevania double pack logo on it. It's uh, very fancy. But uh, I've also got the book that I'm going to be reading tomorrow night. One day at Horrorland. Woo! So I've never played a Castlevania. I didn't realise it's so talky. Uh, generally not. There's like two types of Castlevania. There's like your normal platformy ones. And then there's like the sort of Metroidvania ones, which are more like RPGs. This is the latter. So it has awakened. What? What has? The spirit of the creature you killed has just entered your body. You have the power to have solved the abilities of the monsters you kill. Oh shit, goosebumps. I'm not going to shit on the goosebumps. Why? Why, why would I have that power? You have gained the power. Yeah, you must go to the monster's chamber and throw spears at him. For what reason? Do you not wish to return with your friends to your own world? Of course I want to go back. Then go to the master's chamber. Then you will understand everything. Kill Dracula, got it. But I can't just leave Mina here like this. No need to worry about her. I'll put up a protective barrier. But death will most certainly find those who stay here too long. De then I... Yes, only you can save her from a painful death. And you, what will you do? I too have things I must do within these castle walls. Go, set forth. Both your own life and hers are at stake. Good -o. Okay, and now the game begins. We have a very shit little knife. Yes. Also, because it's the Game Boy Advance, it's only got two buttons, so jump and attack. And attack is the same button as talk. So, I haven't played this game since it first came out, which was quite some time ago. Cool. And how do I use those? I don't know. But we've made it to the Castle Corridors. And we have a remix of the uh, original theme. So this game features a levelling up system, currency for buying shit, and if it kills monsters, if I'm lucky, they shall drop a soul. If I equip that soul, it gives me special powers, and each one is different. Ah, that's it. So... The soul I just got allows me to throw spears, which I do by holding up and attack. Arm ready? Oof. But it does use up MP, that green bar there. The green bar though, does refill. And I get piss all experience of killing zombies. But I do get some experience. And this one level will do me nicely. Alright, I can't go up there. And that's where the Metro Radio is. Right. Well, just the Metroid aspects, okay. I keep saying Metroidvania, even though this is literally Castlevania. It's half of the Vania. It's literally the Vania part. So yes, uh, so later on I will get more souls, and then I can double jump and fly, and all that good shit. Go away, zombie. How many levels do I need to go up a level? 34. I need 50 to go up a level. Go on then. How much do you give me? Just one? You give me one. Well, let's go up A level. This won't take too long. And yes, uh, you also get equipment as well. And the equipment you equip also offers different stuff. Like different abilities. Like, it might grant me immunity to spikes. Or might reflect back damage a little bit. Or might just put up my thing. Nerd, nerd! Sorry, Total Book. Uh, sound alerts aren't working because uh, Twitch shat itself last night. And I've changed a load of settings. But apparently I didn't change all of them in the world. So sound alerts. Though there! Refuse to work. But hey, I hope you're right. <gasps> a cloth tunic! A cloth tunic is somehow better than my casual clothing. I don't see how that's possible. There we are. How are you today, Mr. Bork, sir? That's a shame. I'm alright. I'm alright, thanks, but a bit knackered from work. 
Well, it's been very, very tiring. But I'm good. I'll be even better when I finally go up a level. God, I could move on to the next room, but I don't want to. Give me a level. Hurry. In fact, give me more items as well. I'd like another tunic, please. Maybe they're wearing linen. I'm not going to stop somebody else. Maybe. But I can't see how a cloth tunic is going to help matters. Oh, hello. A basilard. Is that good? It's better than my knife. Apparently I've got two of them. Look at that. It's nearly doubled the damage. Woohoo. There we are. It's worth grinding if you still that. And I've got a cloth tunic. And a level up. During the last few weeks before the peak season, hell of Amazon. Oh, God. Oh, good luck to you. We're having peak season at work. Because uh, students are back now. Oh, a short sword. That's worse. Oh, it's probably got more reach. No. Now, because I haven't played this game for a very, very long time. And only the once. I have got no idea where I'm going. Underground Reservoir. Pretty sure I don't want to go here. This may be a mistake. Hey, bony boy. Yeah, what's that? I want it. A pendant? What does pendant do? Pendant. Chris, my luck by one. Doing a lot another day in front of the sewing machine. Cool. Well, at least you're busy. Okay. Well, I ain't going that way. I like the skills. Hello. I've got a bat. Attacks using supersonic waves. Everybody's supersonic waving. Okay. I can have a red soul, a blue soul, and a yellow soul. So red souls are basically attacking. Blues are more passive, and yellow ones are like important ones, like proper upgrades. So what does bat do? Bat does that. Ooh. Oh, I quite like that. And I just got the ability to throw a bone. Throw me a freaking bone here. We have the power. Although, I would like to find a save room. I don't know where they are, so... In order for me to get my health back, there are save rooms. Uh, which fully replenish your HP. And also allow me to save the game. Which is an issue. Ah, Gravekeeper. Backdash by pressing L. Way Moon Dog. Kind of. You know, is this quicker? Speed run strats. And Sonic Wave. Nice. What's over here? We got a cape. Is cape good? Is cape better than pendant? Let's look. More defense. I would like more defense, please. Hello, bony boy. Goodbye, bony boy. And I'm glad we did that little bit of farming for this small dagger. Pew. Ah, so destructive. Ah. An axe armor. Ooh, you do a lot of damage. But so do I. Ooh. A leather plate. That sounds fun. Let's have that. Ooh. Much more defense. No more cloth tunic for us. Blue door, I believe, is boss room. I don't think I want to go there yet. Ow. I don't believe I want to get hit in the face by a skeletal archer either. Should also point out, if my health bar goes down to zero, I die. And that's it. I'll have to start the whole game. Unless I find myself a save point. I don't want to go in the blue door. So I shall explore my other avenue. Come on, give me another level. Tight bastards. Fuck you, bat. So, how's everyone been for the last couple of days? And uh, we found a save room. There we are. Sweet. Alright. Yes, how's everyone doing? I haven't got much plans for the weekend. So, 
I'm recording the podcast this evening because we've had technical issues and I've been at work, so I've been unable to do it. Uh, tomorrow I shall be carrying on with some Pokemon because it's been about a week since I did that last. And obviously I'll be reading Goosebumps tomorrow night as well. Where hey? And Saturday I shall be doing more Castlevania as well. And seeing if I get completely lost. Meanwhile, that's a big bone lad. Don't want, don't want. Okay, let's see what's... Let's fight bones with bones. Okay. Okay. Wow, you do a lot of damage. 53 damage. Dick. Oh, okay. That was easy. Fair enough. Thanks. We're all still ill. Oh no! I didn't give you permission to be ill. That sucks. Have you tried not being ill? I'm not a doctor. God, peepee -pee, no. Oh, yeah. Oh yes. Uh, this game also has uh, <laughs> hidden walls as well. Basically, if you see a wall, it might be a secret. Don't trust big flat walls. Mind up. Have you tried taking some mind up? <laughs> God, can you imagine me being a doctor? I'd be terrified. Stores twenty percent of my MP. Okay. I thought that was a stat upgrade. Piss off. Back off. Staring at me. Eye me up. This is very much like a place I can't go yet. Or can I kill fish? Fish! Killer fish! Okay. <laughs> Didn't look that killer to me. I can kill fish with my bones. This is not how one is meant to go fishing. But hey, if it works. Nope. Oh, I can't hit you with my dagger. No! No, 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 no. Fine. Oh, what's this? Falling speed slows down, jumps distance increases. Okay. Where should I find it? Should I kill monsters? Yes. Yes, you should. Uh, so busy making things apart from the craft fair. Oh, awesome. Also, special visit from police at some point because kiddos that being a stalker weirder. Okay, that's uh, that's certainly a plan for the weekend. It's not what I choose to do, but uh, yeah, I mean, something to do in it. I wonder how the police are getting on with uh, everything that's got on in the world. I'm guessing not very. Well, my plans for the weekend are uh, killing fish with bones. Well, first small part of it. But it's my eldest niece's 14th birthday. So I'm going to a uh, child's birthday party on Saturday after my stream. And then Sunday I should be going to see the new James Bond film with uh, Lone Wolf. Which will be nice. So that means I've got several plans for the weekend and none of them will involve heavy drinking. No drinking for me. Sweet. Cake and ice cream. Bounce castle. Don't know about the bounce castle. I'll be very disappointed if there isn't one. I damn well better be. Otherwise I'm leaving and writing a shit of a review on TripAdvisor. Which will be amazing because I don't even use TripAdvisor. I'll set up an account just to be paid. Ooh. Fires enchanted arrows. How does that work? Skull Archer, eh? That's a bit slow. Don't like that. I'll stick with my bones if you don't mind. I like the throwing arc. It makes it, makes it easier to hit things. So, about craft and bacon sandwich. Oh, I haven't had a bacon sandwich in forever. And everything else can build off. Yeah. I mean. After bacon sandwiches, everything else can pretty much bugger off. And I've got the wrong video point. That's clearly bad when I wanted skeleton. No plans on next week, but the last week of October I'll be doing a chat to support the network streamers. Nice. I assume that's be on Twitch. 
That'd be really cool. What's your actual plan of it? What, what, what's the process? I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued, Total Book. Ooh, can I get over there? So flying almost for that. Falling speed slows and jump distance increases. Is that passive? Do I have to do something to trigger that? Ooh. Don't press that button. I may have accidentally slowed down the game. There we go. Don't press the right trigger. It's not that button. <laughs> ah, there we are. Press the other right trigger. It's that one. Yeah, we'll be trying to get a guest speaker to have on it. Somehow it's someone that's also an affiliate. What day are you planning to do it? Uh, I'll quite happily join in. <laughs> if you want. If there's a certain script of me you want to read, I, I'm up for that. What amount you make profits because Billy will spend it all. Oh. I mean, that that's sad, but at the end of the day, bacon is bacon. Throw hand grenades? How can I not equip that? Ooh, 14 though. Nearly double. But hand grenades? Nail bomb! Here there. Well, there's more damage. Boom. So, yeah, just blowing the zombie soldiers now. Cool. If you can't kill the undead, just blow the fuck up. It seems to work. Oh, I want that. Yoink. Try to stream a goal make new friends, talk about things that you need to the channel, streaming tools, etc. Awesome. Well, let's say to a walk. I'm up for that. If you want if you want me on. Or anyone else. So hit me up with details if you want. That sounds like it might be fun. She's got a friend to come along, she wants to buy all stuff, so I think she's earned a bit of bacon. And maybe a donut. Oh Donuts and bacon. You know, that's made me think of you know that KFC thing they did where it's just KFC and a donut in a Krispy Kreme? That's uh, it looks like diabetes and a heart attack combined. But I'm not gonna lie, I wanna try it. I've just swallowed that. Have to be a Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, as those are the days I'm off. Glad you have oil. There's no scripts. Okay. Uh yeah, I can do Thursday, Friday. No problem. Awesome. Yeah, that'd be fun. Let's do a just chatting thing. Just put me on party chat or whatever, and I'll... I probably won't have any video, because I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> but you can have me on audio. Just like I did do with a Chaotic Clumsy stream. Uh, will you stop hitting me, please? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Would it be bacon as well? Ow! Shoot me in the face with an arrow. I don't like it. Oh, my health is getting a bit low. Try that bat. I haven't gone up a level in a while. I might do for a level. A bit fair way yet. I mean, you do level up in this game, but it seems to be very slow. I think you can literally grind for hours later on in the game. Give me. Give me that. Oh, I want that. I can't have it. Boo. This music here reminds me very much of a uh, Mega Man X. It's the uh, heavy brah brah noises. Come on, I can't make that. You sure I can't make that? He just being awkward. Boo! Oh, I ain't doing that. Where's my map? There's my map. You don't know either. <laughs> Love the music on this too. Yeah, this is basically a remix of a. Uh... Is it very buddy tears? I I get my Castlevania tunes mixed up. Yeah, 
This isn't working. Ow. Grenades aren't the best thing for you, are they? Let's, uh... Again, fight bone with bone. I miss. I continue to miss. No, stop that. Ah, we did it! Woohoo! And we got a scar for killing a skeletal demon. Nice. How could he scarf? Scarf. The scarf somehow protects me more than a cape. And it's warm and cosy. What's not to love? I don't like how low my health's getting. And I've got no way to regain any health. Bone. Man. Just going around boning everyone. And yet somehow we're making progress. And they let children play this, you say? Sure, I can't get up there. I'm adamant I can. But the game says no. Alright, one more try. No. No, it's not happening. No stairs for me. Want that, can't have it. Uh, stop teasing me, game. Stuff I can't have. Shit, did I get another soul? I did. Skeleton Knight. Strength is increased by four. Why don't I quit that sooner? Do more smackings. And uh, goodbye. The artist is trying to back off to no avail. Ow. He hit me by putting his sword behind his head. How rude. Alright, where am I going? Can I go up? I cannot go up. So. It's got to be this way then. So the map it shows, I picked up a castle map item but it it only shows part of the map if I want to see more I have to find the rest of it why do I can't have all the map together I don't know oh only boys g g g ghosts not more ghosts I killed loads of ghosts in Ghostbusters too many ghosts uh, I've got to say I really enjoy playing Ghostbusters again but I forgot how short it was. Like the, like the return to Hotel Sedgwick Hotel was only like half an hour. <laughs> yeah, it was like over before I knew it. Still a fun game though. It doesn't outstay its welcome, it doesn't get too old or anything. So, yeah, it's a great game. Glad I didn't pick up the remaster though, because I'm not sure what it actually adds that isn't in the normal version. Apart from like HD. It did have some multiplayer, so I might have uh, patched that in, but I don't think the multiplayer was that great from what I remember. From what I remember, the multiplayer is like, oh, there's a load of ghosts on screen, see if I can catch the most. That was pretty much it. Ow. I mean, I suppose that's what you want in a Ghostbusters game. But I think it got old very, very quickly. I did play it back in the day. Not for very long, though. It's like you play a couple of matches of it and like, oh, is that it, really? Okay. Can I have a save room, please? I want to go up there. I'm not going that way. Come on, tiny devil. Stop firing at me. Hey, these buggers can shoot at me. Ow, I got hit by an arrow off screen. And that's a big lad. Oh, oh, he died relatively easily. <laughs> I thought it could take a better penny than that. 
Look at that sword. Look at that sword. <gasps> Save room! Yay! More progress. Fantastic. Alright, I want that. Do I have to turn into a bat to get that? This looks very much like the opening section of uh, Silver of the Night. I think I'll have a bone to pick up with that. <laughs> You're there. Do you have bone? No, you have grenade. So I like the way we just punch fire and get hearts. This looks pretty much identical to the first room, was it? It is not. A potion! That restores my HP by a very small amount. Punch fire, get money. Just like in real life. No, wait. I've been here. Oh. Piss off fish. Oh, attack enemy is underwater. Perishes when out of water. I, can I summon a fish? Is that what's happening? Can I use, use it underwater? Yes. I can summon an orange fish. But I don't think there's much use to me. Okay. It's nice to like try everything out to see what everything does, because I can't remember what everything does at all. Anyway, one of my reasons I thought I'll play this Castlevania of the other ones is uh They've recently done a re-release of this game, like put it together in a collection with a Circle of the Moon and Castlevania X. Circle of the Moon I've actually never played, but I have downloaded it. In fact, Circle of the Moon was a launch title for the GBA, and somehow I didn't play it. I don't know how I've never played it, because it's Castlevania and I bloody love Castlevania. So, look forward to me possibly streaming that at some point. Or dread it. <gasps> Cutscene! Mr. Question Mark! <gasps> Mr. Question Mark, sir! Did you know you've got exactly the same name as the antagonist from Pokemon Gold and Silver? He's called that too. Anyway. Uh, hello there. Uh, hello. You're human, aren't you? Relax, my name is Graham. That's the sir. I'm a missionary. Oh, I'm Summer. Summer Cruise. Beastie Torch, yes. You were right here in this shrine before, were you? How did you get here? Why is my voice getting increasingly weird? I'm not sure. I went from the shrine grate and boom! I was here. I see. Uh, can I ask you a question? Go ahead, Adam, man. Is it true that this is Dracula's castle? It most certainly is, buddy. Suddenly I've turned into a uh, Canadian from South Park. But isn't it Dracula's castle in Europe somewhere? Ah, in theory, yes. But it's true, a castle exists somewhere else. It's true, castle. Yes, it's a well-known fact in the underworld. Do you believe in vampires, guy? Well, uh, no. I thought the story of Dracula was made up, actually. Ah, it's not true, buddy. <laughs> it was leaked to the outside world, friend. Usually the church handles these things with utmost secrecy. Over the course of time, Dracula has resurrected many times, when people lost faith and crave chaos and destruction. <laughs> so, are you trying to tell me that Dracula has been resurrected? Nah, Dracula perished in 1999, guy. You know the prophecy of 1999, don't you? Nostradamus is great prophecy. That's right, Dracula was resurrected exactly as I predicted, friend. But Dracula home chose destroyed it. Va va you don't say, then you went to say vacuum cleaners and vampires in the same word. Vacula. Vacula hunters, whatever the fuck they are. <laughs> I mean, they both suck, so. <laughs> Vampire hunters destroyed him completely. They ended his regeneration cycle by saving this castle. Similar to demonic power inside the darkness of an eclipse. And that eclipse is where we are now. Yes, but there's still more to the story, guy. There's more. Do we have time for this? In the year 2035, a new master will come to the castle and he will inherit all of Dracula's powers. But that's... 
Yes, the time is now. I better get going. Is that all, eh? Oh, yes. Thank you. Back for this pleasant conversation. This abandoned room full of hideous monsters. Farewell, be careful, buddy. Yes, you too. Yes, I don't know why I went with a sort of terms of fellow accent, but here we are. Oh, yes. Uh, so, fun thing. Uh, on Monday, I became an Amazon affiliate. So, I have links to some albums by local bands down below. And if you're cool enough to buy the albums via those links, it helps support them. Plus, I get a small commission. So it all helps. If you know anyone that's uh, got products on Amazon, uh, and you're very nice, I will put a link up to it. It's more traffic for everyone. It's a win-win. Although, it may cause more work for Terrible Walk if he's got to package them all. <laughs> you see where it's there. Sorry, mate, I might just add to your workload. But hey, I get money, so it's all good. And so does everyone else. But you might get overtime out of it. Right. Okay, the staircase leads to the same room. There's a small amount of gold, and I want it. I will punch a ghost in the face. More volume doesn't mean I lose a job. Yes, I'm pretty sure Amazon's not going to run out of stuff to send. But yes, the uh, links I've got down below. Summons an a spirit that will fight evil. I want to summon ghosts. I want ghosts. Ghosts, not busters. That's not a ghost. That's crap. Is it actually homing, or was it follow an arc? It did more damage. I was saying, yes, they, uh, the link's down below. This is crap. They, uh, they're all bands that I know, and you probably wear me, uh, see me wear t-shirts at them all. So I've got Eternal Conflict, Mage, Blood Oath. Die. And uh, Temple of Lies. Fucking great bands. Or do essential or Fiji water. They are very heavy and I'm not getting two on in the warehouse. Don't worry. I have water in my house. It's called a tap. So, no. Don't don't worry about that. You have nothing to fear here, Terrible Bog. I see it as part of supporting streamers. <laughs> by not making you carry water. Also, we, we, we can bounce on bells. I'm sure there's some kind of euphemism there. That's a big bell. And it's also part of the background. That's not fair. I want to bounce on the big bell. To what end? I ask you. Can't get up there. It's too high. Mostly people with deep pockets order it. Well, I'm not surprised the deep pockets. If they put Fiji water in it, and they're very heavy, they're just going to tear through the lining. $31 for a 24 pack. Uh, what does that equate to here? That's, that's about £24. So a pound a bottle. That doesn't sound too bad. I'm guessing the 500 mil. Well. I think me and you have got something in common to all about because I do a lot of uh, product shifting and putting away deliveries at my job. And I put away tons of cases of pop and water. And yeah, they are a bit heavy, aren't they? You get used to it. I can sling about three around at once without breaking a sweat. And I can't get those. They're too high. No, I came all this way for nothing. I want those. I've got no way of marking the map. I just have to remember. That's a... I think that's a permanent health and magic upgrade up there. Or there might be big potions. I can't remember. That's a shame. I can't get anything from here. Okay. Well, I guess we're going this way then. 
Piss off, ghost. Just want to have to reach on the top rack for water. Okay, yes. Yes, uh, that's very dangerous, especially if they split. The amount of times I've been hit on the head with a bottle of water is... Uh... I can't remember. It's quite high, but I've been hit on the head so many times I can't count anymore. But it's more than once. I think. I've... They tell us to stay hydrated. They tell you to stay <laughs> hydrated. But then they won't allow you to go for pee breaks at Amazon. Well, if the news is to be believed, anyway. So how does it work? Do you just work so hard you just sweat it all out so you don't need to pee? <gasps> A small amount of gold! Hooray! Oh, what the hell am I? What's that? Oh. That's an elaborate candle just to have a bit of magic in it. Oh. I didn't think you were going to come down the stairs. <laughs> when you get the fairy or community from Sarah, you're leaving, aren't you? Yep. Bye. Ow. <laughs> Take it, heat sucker. Oh, now I'm thinking of that bloody the terminal montage on YouTube. There's something about a series. Yes. Did you see the new one? Uh, it was only uploaded a couple of days ago. With the uh, Forest Temple. I'm so glad you got that reference. Well, I am a massive nerd. Uh, what did I just get? Yes. It's alright, isn't it? It's a bit with a... Uh, uh, where he's doing Ganondorf, where he's speaking in Spanish, like doing the song. And I I don't get the reference. I don't understand. I mean, yeah, it's cool, it's nicely well animated, but I don't get what it's trying to do. There's something I'm missing. What's the connection? Why Spanish Ganon? Why, why the song? I, I don't understand. I even browsed the comment section on YouTube trying to find an answer and came up short. Everyone was saying how good it was. I was like, yeah, it's well, well animated, but it's like a joke I don't get. You don't get it either. Okay. <laughs> People seem to like it. Well, I've got no idea what the hell it's on about. Okay. I seem to have come up short there. Oh no, I got a new weapon, didn't I? I was looking to see what new soul I got, and it wasn't the soul, it was a new weapon, and it was not very good. So I'm only a bigger ruler. Yeah, start sidestepping instead. <laughs> Speed run stress. Guys, if you know no idea what I'm on about, uh, check out the terminal montage on YouTube. It's just short cartoon parodies, mostly evolving around speed running. It's, uh, it's very funny. Save the game, yes. Each video is only a couple of minutes, so it's not going to take a big amount of your time. But hey, go give them a watch. After this, of course. Wee. No. Hmm. I keep going to slide. That's something I can't do yet. I killed an Oon with a bone. Uno! Bone! Trey! Quattro! There you go. <laughs> All about Spanish grammar. We can have Spanish counting jokes. <gasps> Boss! Ow. Boss that shoots fire at me. That's not very nice. Pack it in. Okay. What, well, can I hit your tail and hit you twice? I can. Ow. That's too much damage. I'm going to die, aren't I? Oh dear. Uh, I'm going to stay here and throw bones at you. I hope you're okay with that. Oh, and um, we did it and we win. Okay, never mind. So the most related was the poses as well.
Queen! Buzz, buzz! Hello! Queen, just quit heads up, sound alerts aren't working, so don't try and press anything. <laughs> but hey, how you doing? I hope you're well. I just killed a lion with a scorpion tail. Everything is coming up Millhouse. How are you? Well, Tri is telling me you're still not very well. So, boo to that, but hooray, you're still alive. And that's nice. Noot, noot! I used to be able to do a really good Roadrunner impression. I don't think I can do it anymore. I think my voice has changed too much. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, hang on. Ghost dancers? Who are you gonna call? Ghost dancers! No, it doesn't work. Probably the healthiest out of all of you. Hooray! Oh, can I not make that platform? Let's see. Okay, let's see if we can do Roller Runner. <clears throat> no, 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 fuck it. Straight away. No, no. Nah, that was crap. Okay, I have a big bony skeleton after me. Should probably get away from that. Noop, noop. Yeah, I used to be able to do it so much better. <laughs> okay, note to self, never try that again. How am I doing? I'm doing alright. Bit tired from work, because my work's very, very physical and very, very busy. After last week, I don't think uh, uni would pick up so much, but uh, it's got a hell of a lot busier this week. Like, quadruple the amount of people we had last week. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, a very busy sausage. Very, very busy. But I'm, I'm an Amazon affiliate now, so that's nice. Oh, I sort of noped out that room so hard it didn't even load properly. Zombie officer. Ooh, I leveled up. Nice. He looks like he will give me something good. I do want something good. Yes, yes it was. But normally even Freshers Week is like one of our busiest. So after last week I didn't think it was, we were going to pick up that much. But, uh, no. Because we didn't know how many were meant to be coming back. But it felt almost like it used to do back in the good old days. Not as busy, of course. But I have a lot busier than it was. But I think it feels busier because we don't have the same levels of staffing that we used to have. We're basically on skeleton staff. And that's not a joke about me throwing bones at demons. But I suppose I am. So, pretend it is. Whee! Secret walls? No? You're not very secret wall. You secret? No. Don't want. What's up here? I ain't going that way. This game seems very linear, from what I remember. I've had a couple of off shoots, but nothing I can really do anything about yet. I think it opens up a lot more when I get a few more greys under my belt. And I have to search the entire castle. Ah, that's not an upgrade. That's a bastard sword. Right here has been very simple in my work unit. Has it really? Uh, sword is not sword. Bastard sword. Oh, it's not, it didn't do as much damage there. How's my, how's my dagger that I picked up off a crap zombie still the best thing I've got so far? Okay. So apparently Game Pass is Harmony Despair for free on Games of Gold. Oh, I've played it. It's, uh... I've played the, that one. Uh, that one's not very good. It relies on multiplayer. Uh, so yeah. I've got it on my uh, 360, and I've played it a few times, but I can't get past like the third level. It's just like damn near impossible because you have to play it with like three other people. It's like you're fighting bosses with like thousands of HP, and you're only doing like one damage. If you like fight trying to fight the raid bosses on Borderlands on New Game Plus with one character, it it just ain't gonna happen. 
it wouldn't be so bad if you're just like fighting the monsters, but um, you don't. You have to do like an entire level, and you're on a time limit for like half an hour. So you can't just like go and retry. You have got to do the entire stage again. And all the enemies are spongy as fuck. So, yeah. You can do like the first couple of levels. And you just play like Castlevania. But like, uh, I, th I think there's six levels. But they're like really big. And the uh, coach you can choose one. I think it's like Rip to Belmont, Alucard. And that. Obviously I played as Alucard. Because why the hell would I play as anyone else? When given the option. Ah, box. Which way do you go, box? I'm guessing you help me get up there. But I am still too weak. Oh well, let's push box this way. Love that pushing animation. Was this a mistake? Secrets? Secrets? No. What if I push you this way? I'll speed this up a bit. There we are. Ah. Oh, that looks like there should be a secret down there, isn't it? No, I'm still too crap. Oh, what's the sword up there? Fine, I'm going this way now. Hi, Flea Man. Flea Man, of course, are the uh, most annoying enemies in the entire franchise. Oh. Well. We appear to have bumped into Quaylag from Dark Souls. And I'm only level 7. Also, she seems to fire. She seems to be firing lasers from her boobs. That's a new one. They're making machine gun noises as well. She like the uh, Fembots from Austin Powers. Got machine gun breeds. Oh, another one. No, no, no. No, right, so pleasant, please. Stop firing at me. Hops around madly. I can summon a flea man. Flea man! Du, 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 du. Let's see what he does. Well, he says a little sound every time. I've no idea what the hell he actually says. Ichi? I've got no idea what the hell he said. Curse! I can't cast magic when I'm cursed. That sucks. Go away, curse. Oh. Uh, let's see. You're a big lad, aren't you? I'm trying to save him for a little while. You worry me. I can't cast my flea man because I'm too low. I've turned to stone. I'm nearly dead. I've turned to stone again. Can you not come up here? Aha! I'm very, very nearly dead. Uh, you need to die, please. Uh, don't shove your ass at me. Oh, no. I need a save point. <laughs> Hello. Save room. Are you save room? Please be save room. Oh, my God. <laughs> How lucky are we? I'm talking to the event and Devil May Cry free of her bats. Yes. Yes, it does. Uh, right. I don't like Flea Man very much. <laughs> God, old Skelly Boy. Can't go wrong with Skelly Boy. Only eight magics are cast. And it throws the bone. Don't do really much damage. Helps a little bit. I believe the uh, damage goes up with our level. A little bit. Hello! Cutscene. Question mark. Why is everyone called question mark? Hey, you're Soma, aren't you? You must be him. I am him. Yes, but who are you? Who are you? Who, who, 
<laughs> oh, forgive me. I'm Yoke Bernards. Bernards? Bernardes? Bernardes. Yoko Bernardes. Oh, dear. Yoko Bernardes. I'm a member of the church. How would a member of the church recognize me? You've met Alok. Um, I mean, Genya. Ariko. Right? I'm not very good at pronouncing Japanese names. I did meet him, but. He told me about you and asked me to help you if you're in trouble. Avocado said that. Or avocado, as I like to call him. Well, he may seem cold at first, but he's actually quite a decent guy. He may be looking out for you because you share the same dark powers. Wait, wait, did you say my powers are dark? Dude, you can summon Fleeman and Bones. Of course they're dark. Oh, you mean you didn't know that? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um. Oh no, did I say something? I well, that's what said he said. That's what she said. That's easy for you to say. Essentially, you have the power to rule over and command monsters. Yeah, I gathered that. Rule over monsters? I have no desire to do that. Mate! You've... Okay. It comes as natural as breathing for you, so you may not realise it yet. Yoko Nono. Hmm. That's, that's my favourite Beatles track. I know it, I called it a dark power. That doesn't mean it's evil. It's like a weapon. It's usually decides whether to use it for good or evil. Oh, evil, please. Well, wow, when you put it that way, I feel a little bit better. Yes, being able to summon devils is not evil at all. Since I got this power, I've begun to lose my sense of self. You are yourself. There's no one else you could be. Don't second guess yourself. Be confident. That's most important. I think I understand now. Thanks, Yoko. Giggle. I'm not used to being thanked by people. Oh, I forgot to ask you. Have you seen a man named Graham? Graham? Yes, I met him earlier. Be aware of that man. I believe he will inherit Dracula's powers. No way. He did not look like a bad guy. Yes, he did. Fucking did. He's wearing a suit. Right. I've now got a bridge to sell you. Don't be fooled by his appearance. He is not who you think he is. You're going to sell me a bridge? I don't think I have room in my trousers for an entire bridge. I've got bones in there. Alright. Well, I must be going. I've got to find Graham. See you around. Can you find golden grams like the cereal? That'll be even better. Okay. I've noticed there's an awful lot of libraries and hallways in this castle. Tell you what there ain't much of. Toilets. I haven't seen a single bathroom yet. There's been loads of flooded rooms, but no toilets. Where's all that water coming from? Oh, not you again. Die of bone. <laughs> Thank you. Poo water. It's not that brown, but I do. I do worry. Okay. Oh. Woohoo! Been off a minor tour. Can I steal his axe? Complain about the lack of toilets in all games, especially first person shoes as well. See, it's what I like Resident Evil. That's got toilets in it. But survival games do toilets quite well. They're normally treasure troves. And you can have a Wii. Hey, you might have a place to do it in your suit. Call of Duty. Let's face it. The entirety of Call of Duty is the literary. It's just a metaphor for poo. Call of. No, it's even called Duty. Oh, I see. I'm smart! And then I got turned to stone. I got turned to stone again. Call of Duty. Call of Pooty. Call of Potty. I mean, we could do this all day. I only did an airport lab in recent years, but you can't even wash your hands. For shame game design. <laughs> Call of Duty. Can't wash your hands. 0 out of 10. There's a pandemic on, you know. You should be able to do it. What's this? A whip sword? That sounds fun. I want to use that. What's it worse? Why is everything worse than my little dagger? Oh, I want to see how this goes. 
it's it's like the uh, blade from God of War, or Ivy's sword from a uh, Soul Calibur. Oh, I like this. It's very fancy. It didn't do as much damage, but look at the range. Okay, I might keep this. Can wash your hands in zombie. Can you really? Again though, zombie outbreak. I think they've left it to uh, a little bit too late. Maybe if they wash their hands beforehand, they wouldn't have zombies running around everywhere. Just saying. Oh, don't hit me. Please don't hit me with axe. Alright, I think whip sword is the way to go. It didn't do as much damage as my dagger, but I can hit things from range. Yes, Duke Nukem let you wash your hands. It allowed you to uh, wee and throw your poo as well, so you definitely needed to wash your hands. One good thing about that remake. Right, I'm going to come out and say it. Everyone hates Duke Nukem 3D. I thought it was fine. I bought it at launch for full price, because I'm an idiot. And because I like the old Duke Nukem games. I was a big fan of Duke Nukem 3D. And I played it and thought it was fine. I had fun with it. Other people didn't. But I think that's their problem. I thought it was fine. Okay, it's not, not the best first person shooter ever. But it played fine. It allowed me to shoot things and blow things up and shrink things and stomp them with me boot. And there was more pew pewing. Okay. And we found a melon. Of course. Oh. Oh, no. Stop that. Hold on. Can I ride the bull? I could do this the entire time. Why did nobody tell me? Ooh, there's a petrifying cloud into the air. Do I want that? Brom. Oh, this needs to take up magic. Actually, the other one takes up magic as well. What good's that? I guess I freeze people. Then I can use them as platforms in midair. But not when I'm cursed, alright? A small amount of gold for my trouble. Oh, it's well worth coming up here. Thanks, game. Well, that was worth it. Well, I guess we're going to fight another boss in a second. Let's uh, save the game again. So I'd have to do this all over again. Ping. Oh, rally. No, nope. don't get hit in the face. Good. Actually, I've not been down here yet. I did walk past the boss door, but I really don't feel ready for it. I just got attacked by a cat. There's uh, a way I can't go. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to beat the boss and get a skill to go down there. Okay. It wasn't shit, but it certainly was overhyped. Yeah, I thought the hype died down more than anything after the 14-year uh, delay. Mind you, this was years ago now. When did it actually come out? 2008? To me, it feels like yesterday. Because getting on a bit. Ow! I think I'm taking too much damage before going to this boss fight. This may be a mistake. Also, I'm going the wrong way. Alright, let's see how badly this goes. What have we got? Oh, you're a big chap.
Ow. Have I made a right choice using the uh, whip sword here? Can you not get me? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it doesn't matter where I hit you. Okay, this was a good choice. Good job I didn't use my dagger on this guy. See, at range, short range, uh, my attacks just hit his shield. But my whip sword goes through him. So we've got to whip him. Whip it good. Okay, that was really fucking easy. God, I didn't try that with my dagger. Nice. Oh, hello. Oh, what's a child like yourself doing in a place like this? A child? You're rude, Grandpa. Oh, my apologies. My name's Hammer. Hammer? From the uh, Marvel comics? Okay. The army ordered me to come here. Hi, I'm Soma. I thought I was inspecting the shrine, but suddenly I was in a castle. Don't you think that's a mean thing to do to a guy? What put you in a castle for the shrine? Doesn't sound that mean. So I just bailed on my mission. A mission to go to a shrine. What do you mean? Yes, good question, sir. What the hell are you on about? There were a bunch of strange looking people gathered at the shrine. I thought they'd be good customers, so I'd open up a shop in the shrine. What? You can't just open up a shop in a shrine. It's not a place of business, apart from the gift shop. Ah, good for you. Yeah, I think Soma wants to leave immediately. There are weapons all over this castle and no monsters at the front gate. Got a place for a shop. Come on by, I'll give you a good deal. Did you say no monsters at the front gate? Did you not see the massive pile of armour that we've just killed? A shop, huh? I don't get it. Yes, it seems as a very contrived way of doing it. Jump again in mid jump. Double boingage. Is that just something I can do? Woohoo! Double bounciness! Ah, oh, yes. So much more airtime. Wow, what can I do with that? I can go back and get those upgrades. I should probably do that before I forget. Yes. Uh, sucking I'll have to backtrack that way anyway. Good. I might as well get the collectibles now because I sure as hell ain't going to remember it by a couple of days time. Stop that. Put that axe down. Thank you. Man, I love the whip sword. It's so bad. Take that. Ugh. Ow. Ow. Point me with your pokiness. Or poke me with your pointiness. That's what I should have said. But I didn't. Way. Hey. Okay, let's get rid of that. That's not doing much. Flying armor. I think he's better. For now, at least. Some of these souls you get are very circumstantial. Like, you might only use them in one room to cover a secret. But it is like a little, nice little grinding incentive. To sort of keep going till you get the soul. Because every single enemy drops one. To my knowledge. I'm sure every enemy drops one. You're going to be a lot easier with my sword, aren't you? I'll stop with the machine gun tits, lady. Ow. Piss off with the curse. I'll sod you. I don't seem to like that much. Awesome. Any time you can make kill a flea man in mid jump is great. Such a pain in the bottom, my boys. Alright. Ah, oh, can't get that without the box. Alright, let's get that first. It might be good. It might be worth my time. 
Speed up. Nobody wants to watch me push a box for 30 seconds. There we go. A broadsword. Do I already have one of those? Forty-two. Just more damage than my old one. What's his attack like? One arc. Hmm. I mean, it's got more range than a dagger, but it's not quite as good as my whip sword. But if it does more damage. I can hit multiple targets like that. Has its pros. Evil Butcher's being a dick. I'd say he looks more like a uh, an orc than a butcher. Are all butcher orcs evil? If so, what makes them that way? Boing, boing. Uh, I said boing. Uh, excuse me. Check which way I'm going. Not that way. Ba 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 ba. So, since we're on about Duke Nukem earlier. What games have you played that have been utter, utter shit that other people don't seem to talk about? There's a question. I mean, when people say, like, worst games, you always hear, like, the same ones over and over again. It's like Superman 64 and whatnot. What games that you've played that have been absolute garbage that nobody else seems to recognise? Uh, I don't think I want to come this way. Ah, let's backtrack a bit. Brink. Ah, oh, I remember Brink. My mate bought me that for my birthday. I had no idea what it was. I thought it just looked like a fun shooter. That's before, like, um... Online multiplayer first-person shooters were really that big of a deal. It's like a it's like a prototype for that. And yeah, it was garbage. I played it like single player for a bit and then realised I couldn't really do anything. And that was it. That was the whole game. And I had to go online and play with people. I was like, no. Not doing that. I think it turned out to be absolute shit. Yes, yes it did. Uh, I felt bad about it, because it, it was a birthday present for me, mate. <laughs> there's was, there was no, was no, no nice way to tell, tell you, mate, the game they bought for you was shit. <laughs> oh, well. I did play it for a little bit, so... It's not like I didn't play it at all. I did give it a whirl, at least. But yeah, I completely forgot about that. Okay. Is it this room or is it the other one that I had the upgrades in? Mortal Kombat Gold. Haven't played that one. I'm enjoying Mortal Kombat 10 because I think it helps massively that I got it for free. But I haven't played Mortal Kombat Gold. What made that so bad? I kind of lose track when it comes to like fighting games because a lot of them tend to get re-released with like different versions, which is like the same game but with a different name. Yeah, Mortal Kombat is free on PS Plus this week. How cheeky is that? It's already free. In fact, it's not the, it's not just ten. It's Microsoft. Um, it's Mortal Kombat XL. That's free in PlayStation Plus. Just as normal. So, I think that's really fucking cheeky. Give it away as a free game, but it's already free. Fuck. 
4 was a bad game, but God got stale down the graphics. Okay. That's... Piss off, ghost. I have to keep saying piss off, ghost, because I can't play the sound of that. It's just annoying. Man. Yes, I have a strange history of Mortal Kombat. The first one I played to death, because it only just come out. When I... What year did it come out? 93? 95? I played it the uh, well, as soon as it came out. Back in today. And I really enjoyed it with my mates. Great game. And then I just never played another Mortal Kombat again until Mortal Kombat 10. I used to play Street Fighter 2 Turbo a lot as well. I love that game. I was crap at it, but I really liked it. High Mind Up. And High Potion. Okay. Cool. Fine. I thought I'd get them now before I forget, because I'll forget by next time. Yeah, so when I, was, when I picked up 10 and I had all these characters, I was like, <gasps> I don't know who any of these are. <laughs> is this Raiden or Johnny Cage? No, I don't know who it is. <laughs> I did enjoy the most combat film that came out recently. I know it sort of had like mixed reception, but I thought the general consensus was it was quite good. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. And the guy who played Kano made me laugh out loud on several occasions, which is something that doesn't normally happen. Armageddon would have bamboozled you. Yes, I imagine it would. Alright, uh, save my game. Let's go check out this area. So, because I haven't played this game in years, I can't remember the map at all. So it's almost like playing it for the first time again. I, I remember what the last boss looks like, and that's about it. I think there's a boss called the Headhunter as well, but even then I might be getting that confused with another Castlevania. Yeah, he called Raiden Gandalf. He called Raiden Gandalf. Oh, I, oh, I see. You shall not use fatality. No, I can't get up there. But I wanna. What's up here? Hello. Different background. Oh. Hey, bony boy. You know what? Screw you. Can't be bothered with you. Oh, so many different ways. I'm going to the map which looks like there's single rooms and check them out first. Piss off. An anti-eye venom. Yippee. How exciting. So since you watched the movie, how do you feel if Nicolas Cage and the movie like this? Better damn well happen. <laughs> Ah, hello. Ah, we have teleporter. Brum. I need to watch the uh, that new Nicolas Cage one, Pig, because apparently it's quite good. It's taken, but with a pig, and it's got Nicolas Cage in it. Yes, give it to me. Speaking of, has anyone actually seen it? Can anyone can confirm? I've heard it's good. Get caged. Despite all his rage, he's still just a cage. Yes. Well, I might as well back towards the beginning of the castle. Kill a doll? No. Don't want that. Oh. That looks very, I'm not going that direction for a while. A 
At least we'll get the classic music back. Yeah, I'm not going that way. Probably give it a watch this week. I'll see if I can find it. I have been quite busy. Uh, I've actually watched a lot of films this week, so... I watched Black Widow. Because that's finally come to Disney+. Plus. I didn't get a chance to see it at the cinema because of, you know, the world closing. And then it came on the Disney Plus for 30 quid, and quite frankly, that can piss off. But it finally came for a general release yesterday. If you're unaware. And yeah, I quite enjoyed it. It's Marvel. I knew I was going to like it. It's a given. And yeah, so watch that. Uh, for shits and giggles, I watched the original X-Men trilogy as well. Which I haven't seen since launch and couldn't remember them at all. So I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'll give them another watch. And yeah, they're fine. I like, I thought they were okay. I was never that big on X-Men. Even the third one, it was okay. I've got no real attachment to them. I can't get on my high horse about it, saying, oh, they've done this, they've done that. But yes. Ah, welcome back, Summer. Hey. What? That man over there. Who? You mean a hammer? His name is Hammer, huh? Stop. Hammer time. There we go, let's get that reference out of the way. Don't you think he's a little scary? No. He hangs around in shrines and tries to set up shop. He's a bit weird. I think he's a decent guy. That's not true, is it? But look at all the weapons he has over there. But well, they had the great internet quote. I'm the juggernaut bitch. Yes, I did win slightly at that. Especially when after seeing the Deadpool 2 version of Juggernaut. You know, when they kind of did it correctly. <laughs> right then, Mr. Hammer, who sells swords. I'm not a hammer. Howdy there, you came. I swear this is playing Mega Man X music. Is this where you've opened your shop? Well, at the very least you put a box down. By the way, that cute young lady over there, she's staring at you. Is she your friend? Yeah. Well, I had no idea you were so popular with the ladies. Hey, it's not like that. I know one lady. I'm not that popular. Don't be shy now, you hear? It's good to be young. It's a good thing. He's so good he said it twice. Alrighty, back to business. Take a look around, friend. Oh, I should have called... Give you the uh, Canadian accent. Damn. You just called us friend. Right then, I would like... That, please. Combat knife? Ooh. It's pointy. Oh, standard hammer. <laughs> just a standard hammer. Okay, broadsword is what we've got. I mean, I could buy things from here. thing is, um... You can find all these items in the castle. So I'm hesitant to actually spend my money. That said, that's quite a uh, buff. Yeah, go on then, I love that. That's... See, these sound fun. Like, I'm looking at the stats, but I've got no idea what the moveset is. So I will hold off on the weapons. I love that, just because it bumps up. All of my stats. Attack and defense go up by quite a bit. He's trying. He looks like he's trying not to laugh at a bad joke. Yeah. If only you made one. Yeah, it's like Dark Souls. Uh, every weapon's got like a different move set. So even if it's got like a massive stat upgrade, it doesn't mean it might be any good. It might just whiff everything. There's that big area up there. I'll be able to check out. I'm going to do that. Because that looks like it may be the way forward. Or it may be a complete dead end. Let's find out. A bit of time. Get in there. Whee! Isn't it nice in like games like this? Where it seems to be like a slog the first time you go through everything. And then once you get a few more upgrades, everything's so much smoother to get through. 
I'm a fan. Just gotta keep checking on the map every two seconds. Oh, there's room that way as well. I wish there was a way to mark your map on it. Because I'd love to be able to see where... The reason why I didn't carry on going a certain way. And it's only when you get there you sort of go, Oh yeah, there's a locked door. A jump I can't do. Give me money. Right. Your secrets. What you got? A lance. Who's lance? And why is he a weapon? And is it good? Holy crap. That's quite the boost. Um, I'll give it a whirl for a little bit. That's, it is quite the damage increase. Does it hit them at a lower angle? Strong weapon's no good if I can't hit anything with it. Face the right way. It's a bit too slow for mine. Oh, it did one shot either. Hmm. I mean, it's nice to have a bit of variety. It'd be boring if I just use the same weapon for the entire run time, wouldn't it? Let's mix and match a bit. I just wish uh, Soma's appearance would change with the army set you've got. But this was on the GBA. We can't have everything. Mm. Alright. Where does this take us? Also, these rooms here. Uh, here's a little tidbit for you. When you go to these interconnecting rooms, which connect up the different areas, the reason the music stops is... Um, because of the soundtrack, uh, especially on Symphony of the Night, uh, the way they programmed it, the tracks didn't like fade in and fade the other. The only way they could do it is to start the uh, track from scratch again. So when you go through these interconnecting bits, it just cuts the track off. So it, when the next track starts, it doesn't like give you like tonal whiplash. It doesn't like immediately start from the next track to the middle one. Which is a uh, weird little tidbit I learned. If you just cut the track off entirely and then like, have a second where you go through a connecting room and then start a new track, it's not that weird. Hello, man with beard. Strange, I sense a dark power within you. Who are you? It is rude to ask questions before introducing yourself. It is. I ask people how they're doing all the time. Jay. Yes, you're right. I can't give you my name, but people call me Jay. Which people? People call you Jay? Why hide your real name? Are you a criminal? The first thing you jump to is when you're in Dracula's castle being attacked by undead foes is, are you a criminal? No, I have amnesia. I'm told I was in an accident in 1999. Why if his name is Jay, like J-A-Y? You've just insulted the man. When I woke up in hospital, I've forgotten my name and my past. Oh, I see. Why well, my name's Soma? Your dark power? Were you born with it? I don't really know. I first noticed it when I entered this castle. I see. I guess I was mistaken. Mr. J, why have come to this castle? Uh, isn't that what Harley Quinn calls the Joker? Mr. J, why have you come to this castle? I can't do a Harley Quinn impression. I've learned that today. Call me J. I am filled with fear when I hear the name Dracula. You're f uh, if you're filled with fear when you hear the name Dracula... Maybe Dracula's Castle isn't the place you want to be in. It's like being a firefighter if you've got pyrophobia. Anyway, I came here because of the prophecy. I also thought my memory might return. Or from having the shit scared out of me. In fact, since my arrival, I have felt like my memory is returning. And your accident occurred in 1999. Maybe Dracula was involved. I fear you are correct. Especially since I have magical powers... Mm. Jay, are you an exorcist? Well, you might say that, but I work for no one but myself. 
It'll still be an exorcist. Then. I must be going now. I'm sure we'll meet again. Yes, see ya. What is it with meeting people in this spooky castle with their first instance is to try and get the hell away from you? He could have killed these zombies for us if he's going out of his way. Could he not be bothered? Is that a secret? It's not a secret. Right, I don't like this lens very much. The uh, York's a bit crap. I'm going back to... Oh, which one was it? Was it Broadsword? Yes. Must have been... Yeah, there we are. Oh, so many ghosts. Uh, I'm going to wait for you to come to me. There we are. Ooh, that's a fun looking weapon. Uh, and that's a sword in my face. Uh, that's a sword to my other side of my face. Uh, I could go down. I'm looking on the map to see where like the nearest save room will be. I'm guessing if it's a save room. So I've not had one for a little while. Well, nope. Can I hit you safely from here? Take that, Crescent Castle. If that is how I pronounce your name, I've got no idea. Nemesis? That looks nothing like Nemesis. He didn't even say stars. Yeah, have a bone. There's lots of flat walls around here, which always makes me think it's got to be a... Got to be a secret somewhere. Right, that's a teleporter. It's not what I wanted, but... It's there. Sword? No. Sword, can you... No. Stop it, sword. Way! -hey! See, I would have called that something like a poltergeist, rather than nemesis. It's literally a, a ghost thing can manipulate an object. Is that not a poltergeist? Oh, I can hit you safely from here, right? Yep. Good. Oh, that worked. I'm pretty sure these guys give us a soul that we need for um, beating the game properly. This game has multiple endings. It's got a good and a bad ending. And to get the good ending, you need to uh, get a certain number of souls. Like particular ones. And fight a boss. You also get the full gameplay experience. If you get the bad ending, you don't do like the last further of the game. Although this may take a while. Give me your stuff. Oh, there we are. Concentration is increased by 8. Ooh. Gym clothes? What are they do? Not very good. Okay, it's a dancing guy room again. Can I go up? Uh, it's at the end of this hallway. It looks important, but it looks like that might be a save room up here. Please be a save room. Thank you. Yes, that seems wise to do before I take on the mine at all. Come here, you. My, my, that's a big chopper you have. But I have a big bone. I've got a bone to pick to you. Neat. Ah, poo. Can't go that way yet. No sliding for me. 
Yeah, somehow I'm an agile little fighter, but I don't know how to slide. Ooh, throw katanas. That sounds fun. What does that do? I guess throw katanas. Oh, so it's just straightforward. Fair bit of damage, but it's only directly forward. No, I prefer my bony power. So far, one of the first powers you picked up is the best one. Um, up or down? Let's go up. Up's got less rooms. Ah, save the game again, because why not? We're walking by, it'd be rude not to. So, those who have played Castlevania, what's your favourite one of the lot? Is it Symphony of the Night? Is it Super Castlevania 4? Is it something else? And if you haven't played them, I highly recommend the Curse of the Moon games. Which is basically Castlevania and all but name. And they're fantastic. Hello. Put that down. Alright, don't not be back for the wall. Respawn. Ooh. Secrets, please. Samurai armor. What does that do? Better. It makes us better. Who'd have thought Samurai armor would actually be quite good? Boing. Oh, going that way. So, we've got weighted skeletons now, so even in death they have to work. That kind of sucks. No. Oh, another one of you. Anything around here? There appears to be nothing here. Unless the floor. No? I think there's something up with this statue. This screams come back here later. Or I say that and then I've seen another one, so I don't know anymore. Skeleton waiter. There's a lot of enemies in this room for only a hundred beans. So is this something else? It's a good thing about this bone thing as well. You can hit ceilings and the floors, so it'll tell us if there's a secret there. Ooh. Let's ride the cow. Oh. I tried to whip him to go faster and it didn't work. Never mind. Hi, Flea. Now, normally you're annoying, but the broadsword's arc makes short work of you. Uh, any secrets? Any at all? That's looking like it's a no. Well, that's pretty pointless. Let's make stakes out of him. Oh, can I not go up there? Ah, is my jump not high enough? Oh, that sucks. Well, I ain't going up there. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, wait a minute. I'm being an idiot. I know, shocking, right? Let's ride the moo cow. Yes, cow to victory. Oh, I need to go on this one though. You there? No. Well, I'm glad he's shooting out of his mouth and not his bottom, because that would be bullshit. Quite literally. Oh. 
Although I've been concerned if bullshit can turn you into stone. Wait, hey, another level. We are on another level. Ah, let me guess. Don't kill all of you. Ha <laughs> ha. I are smart. If I killed all of those, I wouldn't be able to get up, would I? What does Mana Prison do? Is that just... Restore all of my MP. Well, that's nice. It's a nice little bonus. But... It's not very useful. It's not progress. Ow. Okay, uh... Without spoilers, guys. Has anyone seen Squid Games? I accidentally binge-watched the entire thing. In like two sittings. In like two days. It was a show. I can say that much. Stuff happened in it. What are your thoughts if you've seen it? Was it everything you ever wanted? Was it a bit pants? Did it not feature enough jumpsuits? Did it not feature enough Thrones being bone at Minotaurs for your liking? And why wasn't that a thing? Halfway through episode 5, quite liking it. Good, good. Yeah, I literally like, watch like, the first four episodes and then watch the next five. One of which is only like half an hour long, which is a bit weird. They were like an hour long and then one hour episodes is like half an hour. Um, okay. Is Netflix being weird for you? Uh, looks like we're going down. Ow. Stop it. These zombie officers haven't given me anything yet. She no, 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 neither of these ghost dancers. Give me a soul. I swear to your soul. Ah. Now this is a different scenery. This is a different scenery. That's not how people speak. This is a change of scenery. Oh, hi, first boss. It's been de-ingraded. I'm going to finish it tonight, watch half first episode, I'm not liking it, I'll give it another go. Oh, I'll just sort of stop with it, I'll just sort of let it on. I know generally with series you got to give it a couple of episodes. It's normally the first series is just setting, first episode is just setting up everything. And it's not enough to go on for the most part. Uh, when you look back at it, like the first episode of Breaking Bad ain't great. But the first series overall isn't like mind blowing or anything. It's good, but it's not mind blowing. So anything like the second season on is it really amps up. So yeah, if I go to watch a series, I try and watch at least three episodes before I sort of make up my mind whether it's going to work for me or not. Which sometimes is a big commitment, because you can be looking about three hours and you could have watched the film in that time. No secrets? Yeah, I, I enjoyed Squid Games just fine. I don't think it's as good as everyone's making it out to be. In fact, the, uh, the drama about the translations about it being so bad has been quite amusing to read there. Might as well piss off. Ow. Oh, I don't like how low my health's going. Money. Is that it? Money? I did all this with a bit of money. Man, what a rip-off. Oh, I guess I'm going the other way then. Hmm. How are we doing for time? Nearly three, okay. Well, I think I shall wrap up this section.
Let's see what else we got. I'm gonna guess we're gonna get another boss fight before the time's up. Let's see what's down here. I'll piss off wooden gun. We knew you did a lot of damage to me last time. Two for one. Right, I can take some punishment. Hi, Benny boy. Okay, I'll, I'll just I'll just continue to miss with everything. That's fine. Don't like how low my health is getting. Do like I got a level up though. That's better. Kill a doll, down you go. Evil Butcher. How's it going? Oh. The Butcher has become the Butched. No wait, that doesn't work. I'm guessing we're going to get the slide ability soon. I've seen so many people places I can slide and can't do it. An evil Butcher has changed colour. Ah oh, shit, it's one of those. Don't kill me. So don't kill me. Don't. Thank you. Wow, I must be getting close to the save room. I'm glad I went up first rather than down. Because I want to save the game for ages if I did. Ow. Yeah, it's very much a boss shape room. So, I'm hoping this is a save room. If not, this game's having a laugh. But no, we do have one. Alright! Let's have a boss fight. Well, let's fight an evil butcher first, then I'll have a boss fight. Let's see how this goes. Dun dun dun! Hey, we found the cellar! Oh, we got booze for days! We're good! I'm gonna stay here. Oh. Uh, you know, it's going to take an awful lot of beer to get you drunk, isn't it? And you also do a lot of damage. Wow, uh... I haven't got much in the way of range here. It's getting hard to hit you without hit getting hit myself. So I think this might be a job for the whip sword. Ow. And yes, yes it is. Whip it. Whip it good. Now. Don't move. Don't lean forward, you bastard. Lean forward hurts. Hitting his arm does nothing. Which is weird, because hitting the rest of him seems to damage him. I've just noticed how low my HP is. And I'm going to die if I get hit once more. I do not wish to die. Okay. Small amount of health. Just try not to use another one. Oh, I'll get it anyway. <laughs> I wasted a potion. No! I ain't getting that back. Bugger. What the hell was that? Skeleton Blaze! Slide by pressing down and A. Way! Anything else? Gonna lie, uh, that big lad is gonna have a hell of a time trying to open these barrels. I think it's too big to work a pump. Ow. Oh man. It's headset. Sorry. It's horns. It's Cutting off circulation to my head, they hurt so much. They're fine for like half an hour, then you can feel them really start to dig in. Right, so yes, save game. Let's uh, do a save state as well, because you can never trust these games. Awesome stuff! Well, we beat a boss, we uh, we did the thing, we, we did the thing, We got and we got the ability to slide, and yeah, we did quite a lot in that session. I'm sure as this stream will go on with Castlevania, um, 
there's bound to be a point where I get lost and stuff. But so far, it's not happened. But I am enjoying it. So, yes. Anyway, tomorrow, I will be back with some Pokemon in the afternoon. Because I have to find some time to squeeze that in throughout October. Otherwise, I'll forget where the hell I am. And that would be bad. And I don't want to give up on it. I, we're still doing it. And then I'm going to be reading... Ba, 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 ba. One day at Horrorland in the evening. A book at bedtime is spanky. Which I shall start that at about... Let's say 8 o'clock. That's what I put on social media, right? So yes, we're doing that and that. So double me tomorrow. Aren't you lucky? Or probably unlucky. Depending on how you look at it. Cheers. Thank you very much. Don't work. Anyway, thanks to all of you for uh, tuning in. It's good to be back. Even though I only have two days off because of work, um, it feels like it's like a month. It's really weird. Anyway, let's go to the endings soon screen. Is there anyone we can raid this fine afternoon? Since there's so many good eggs on here, I think you ought to be rewarded. Uh, unfortunately, there's nobody I follow on here. So, okay, maybe I won't. <laughs> okay. Okay, in that case then, I'm just going to say bye-bye for now. So I will see you, hopefully, tomorrow. Twice, if you're that much of a glutton for punishment. Take care, guys. Have a great afternoon. And I will see you later, hopefully, with sound alerts. Goodbye. Bye. And don't forget to follow um, Buy That Music through my links to give me money. And then money. And have good music. Hooray. I never know who's in these things. Bye.